Malo, Dr. Fanis Maonga, a general practitioner from Prosef Medical Center, partnering with Ponea Health. Today's topic is what conditions can be managed through home care. Most of the conditions that most people have can actually be managed through home care, but we have specific conditions that are ideal for a home care client and ideal to be managed at home. Anyone who's had a traumatic uh, brain injury who needs long-term care is the correct client to be managed at home. Anyone who's had spinal injury and will need long-term care then is a candidate uh, to be managed from home. Anyone who's just had a, a childbirth, either normal delivery or cesarean section may also be managed from home. Anyone with mental conditions where they're not able to safely take care of, of themselves, they need help, uh, then they'll be managed from home. And anyone who has anything, you've had a surgery and either you've been put something, maybe you had a surgery or you are unwell, you are put something on your throat which is called a tracheostomy, you need to be managed at home. Uh, you, you maybe had a problem with your gastrointestinal system and we actually did a gastrotomy, then you'd be managed from home. You've had a problem maybe with your bladder, with your urinary system and you have a catheter, then we will be able to manage you at home. You've had any kind of wound, you're immobile or there's something that is happening and you're not able to take care of yourself, then we'll actually manage you from home. So any condition that makes you immobile, you need long-term care, any chronic condition, you're diabetic, you're hypertensive, you're asthmatic, uh, you have any form of cancer, we can actually manage you from home. You're having any form of illness that is interfering with your feeding, or we are assisting you to feed by a feeding tube, then you'll actually be managed from home. You've sprained, you've had a fracture, you've had a road traffic accident, uh, something has happened and maybe you, you, you've lost your eyesight, you've lost your speech, then we can actually manage you from home. So any illness, any condition that keeps you immobile makes you uh, not to be able to live actively with your daily life, you're actually a candidate to be managed from home. When the COVID-19 pandemic came into the country, there was restriction of movement. And sometimes you might have visited a health facility during the day and you need to get maybe an injection in the night and it's during a uh, curfew hours, as we call it, and then you need it and you're not able to move. But the healthcare practitioner, because they had a pass to be able to move at whatever time in which part of the country, they would actually come to your home and actually give you like the injection that you needed. So the thing that home care brought in is that you are able to get whatever, there was no interruption of service for a client that needed it because now the healthcare practitioner is coming into your home. So that's the new thing that it brought. And that's why we are saying home care is not only for the elderly. It's not only for people who need long-term assistance or long-term care. It's for everyone. So that's what COVID brought for us. So the other thing that was able that we knew we can actually get care in our home is isolation for people who are turned positive with COVID-19. If we came and actually saw your home was suitable for isolation, we actually allowed you to stay at home and we'll check on you morning and evening. Someone will check on you, your vital signs, will bring you medication and see how you're doing for 10 to 14 days at the comfort of your home. The advantage of the comfort of your home, you have your loved ones around you. You have what you need around you. You're familiar with the setting. So there is the peace, you feel secure, you feel safe, you feel loved. And this actually takes the incidences of depression low. Sometimes when you're isolated in a hospital, we do not allow visitors to come and see you. But if you're isolating at your home, at least you know they're just somewhere. My family members are just near. I'm at the comfort of my home. If I want to watch a movie, I can. If I want to eat this, I can eat. So the hospital has a bit of other restrictions that does not allow. So the thing that came in with COVID-19, you are able to know there is services like home care. Actually, the uptake of home care services came in during uh, the peak of last year, that is 2020 up to now. Because, and then the other thing that made um, 
home care actually catch up is because even in hospitals, we had to limit the number of clients coming into a facility. So we could not just let everyone come in. And because of that, we find that most people were locked out from coming to their facility. But by us as healthcare practitioners coming into your home, so you'll have continuity of what you need. You need vaccination that is, you are due for a vaccine, will come and bring it to the comfort of your home. Uh, you need a routine scheduled procedure, will bring it into your home. There is an injection that you take monthly, we'll be able to do it at your home. You normally fill in your chronic medication prescriptions every month. You don't need to come into a facility, we will bring it to your home. So those are the things that are in there. And the good thing is that um, even our insurances companies and everyone has noticed home care is cheaper, it saves on time, it saves on resources and on finances. So that's why we are happy and people are embracing it and we are doing the best to make sure we are giving quality service and the service that we would have given in a hospital setting or in a facility setting at the comfort of your home. Thank you for joining us in this discussion. We look forward to have you more in the next episode. You can book our services through ponea.com. Thank you very much.